Hey, what up? This is Corey Taylor, and you are watching Heavy Consequence. I had heard some dubbed copies of some of the Sub Pop uh, 7 inches that they had released. So I was aware of, of Nirvana before they set off their nuclear bomb, you know? And it was, it was, it was different. Obviously, it wasn't as sludgy as Bleach was, but the songs were so refined at that point. And the production, I mean, Butch did an incredible job on that album. It, 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 it changed the way that people thought about songwriting. I can remember the first time I got it. And I mean, I listened to it. I must have worn it out for six months, man. I mean, I literally sat down and I learned how to play every song on, on the guitar. I learned how to sing every song on that damn album. To this day, it's one of those albums that you can put on from top to bottom and you find yourself like skipping the singles and just playing the B-sides, man. Like stuff like um, um, uh, Drain You is probably one of my favorite songs ever. Um, uh, Lounge Act is so weird, you know, it's just rad, you know, and Something in the Way is one of those like dark tunes that you just you can put on and you're just like wow where was he when he was writing this you know it's a beautiful album and it's still it's still one of the best hard punk fusion pop albums of all time